Well, there we go. New skin on frame, all dried in, ready to get back at it. New clean skin certainly makes it brighter in here. That'll come in handy when we get ready for paint. A bolt rope track for the trampolines. Some hard points forward here. Perfect. Decided to go with a composite track for the bolt ropes, mostly to avoid punching a whole bunch of holes for an aluminum track. And also, in my opinion, it'll give a better finished look to the overall product. More composite tube for the trampling bolt ropes onto the beam as well. When you're building the first of a kind and there are no directions, you do have to make small changes as you go, but sometimes the changes are bigger than others. Some of you may recall in a previous video I showed you a pair of curved foils that were donated by Brandon Davis at Turnpoint Design. Well, time has gone by and my personal goals for the boat and the project have evolved even further. And in discussions with Brandon, we've come to the conclusion that what we need was bigger foils. I thought I'd take a moment to show you the foils, the dagger boards that came from Brandon. Here we are from Turnpoint Design and Brandon Davis, the new massive dagger boards for the ETK 30. So that's it for now. I hope you'll join us next time when we start work on the dagger boards, finish off the bolt rope tracks on the beams and the boat, and we'll start in on the completion of the floats. We'll look forward to seeing you then. Until then, you take care of yourself. Aloha.